Hello, print cesses, and welcome back to Not Fit for Print Beauty with me, Rebecca. We have a wild one for you today. You saw the thumbnail advertising this video, so you know what we're in for. Today, we are going to talk all about the brand new Chanel 31 Le Rouge lipsticks, and they are $195, so upwards of $200 after taxes. I have two shades out of the 12 for you here. We're gonna talk about it, and we're gonna swatch them, and we're gonna try it on, though I'm wearing one already. Of course, because you know, I bought these, I'm gonna wear them. Okay, so let, let's talk about what this is first. And you know, I don't mind. You can say that it's finally it. I've finally, I finally gone over the deep end or however you wanna phrase it. Or you can say that I've taken one for the team or some of you might say that I'm just experiencing the ultimate in luxury lipstick. There's gonna be a whole lot of opinions out there, but most of you are here because you're curious to see it or curious to see the creator who would buy it. I don't know, but let's talk about them, okay? So Chanel is famous for their lipsticks, and their lipsticks are generally always, I'm really never disappointed by a Chanel lipstick. They're beautiful, just beautiful. I love the sting power. I love the way they, they even the scent of them, that, and I love the saturation of the shades and everything about them. So today I went to my, one of my favorite places on earth, it's true, the Chanel Beauty Boutique by my house, and I saw my sales associate, Nazi. Now I always put Nazi's phone number down in there, not for any monetary gain, I just think she's the best Chanel sales associate out there. And I figure if you need some help or want to make some purchases, she'd love to speak to you as well. So I did put down her number, and yes, I think you can text her there as well. Because sometimes Chanel releases are tough to track down, and the Chanel Beauty and Fragrance Boutiques have, they have all the good stuff. Okay, so I saw Nazi, and she and I went over all the shades, and I chose two. So we're going to talk about how these come and what they look like. So you can buy these individually and when you buy them individually they are $195 we'll look at that you can buy refills I'm going to show you what that looks like for $80 and I'll show you how to change them out and you can also buy sets now when you just buy the $195 single you get this cute little case which is kind of a it's almost like a, a suede case but they're actual leather cases with the larger sets that have um, one and a few refills in with it then you can get either a white or a black leather case and those are really cool as well but you gotta yeah you gotta kind of up that I just went ahead and got singles okay so that does come with this which is a really nice carrying case because you don't want the actual product to be damaged especially when you've spent that much on it so uh, the $195 version comes in this little case right here. It opens up and is tucked away into this right here, and it is indeed a crystal case, and it's got uh, the CCs there, and I hope I can do it justice. I'm putting my hand behind it so that you can see it's basically transparent crystal glass, which is why you would need the carrying case so that it doesn't get harmed. Um, it's a nice thick, I mean, I could drop this on the ground, and trust me, I will. Doesn't matter what level of luxury it is, my klutziness can always be counted on. So um, it's not gonna break, this isn't, you know, it's sturdy. It's a, it is definitely a thing, it's not too heavy, but you know, it's definitely a weighty, you feel like you've purchased something of substance, but this is not gonna shatter into a million pieces. And a lot of people were worried about that when they heard it was kind of a crystal lipstick case. Is it gonna shatter into, no, 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 not, not at all, not at all. You are, of course, paying for the beautiful case and the packaging. It's a collector's item, there's no doubt. But you're also paying for the advancement in the formula of the lipstick. So let's talk about it. A few things. Uh, and we'll talk about how to change them out with uh, refills as well. So this comes up here and it's got a beautiful, really easy to apply. So you can go right from the bullet. A lipstick brush if you prefer, but you can easily go right from the bullet. And this is going to last uh, for about, there's 12 different shades. I think they last definitely for eight hours. I bought this at the shop, at the Chanel uh, boutique this morning, and I tried it on and I've been wearing it ever since, so it hasn't budged. And I did have a little sandwich. It hasn't budged. Now they're not transfer proof um, or like a liquid lipstick. They don't claim to be that, but there's kind of a definite stain that really stays with your lips for, Chanel says about eight hours. These formula glides on because what Chanel has done is they have a proprietary gardenia oil that is grown in France, 
the, the, the flower, the plant, is grown in France, and they take the oil from it, and that is theirs only, exclusive to Chanel, to put into this lipstick, but it's also got uh, maracuja oil and all sorts of things that are really good for your lips. Uh, they claim, they have the studies that prove that if you continually wear this lipstick, you'll have firmer, smoother, more defined lips, but you are, you know, paying for that. Okay, so let me show you, we're gonna try the shades on that I bought, but let me just show you how to also do the refill. Super easy, comes right out, lifts right out there, and then you can pop a new shade in very easily, like this, and then it's ready to roll up, and it's magnetized and super easy, super, super easy to use, actually. You do need the component, so I'm holding, I just took out the shade, and I cannot roll it up unless it is, I, I have a little cap for it, so it'll store nicely, but you cannot roll it up unless it is in the mechanism. They're gonna get you somehow, I suppose, okay? But again, if you wanna just get the refills, they're $80, but you will need an original component to put them in, $195 for that, and then varying prices, or a little bit steeper of a price for the whole collection, or the collection with three. Okay, so I bought two different shades, as I told you. I got the, what I'm wearing now, which is the second of the 12 shades, and this is called the Crozier or Cruise shade. It's kind of a coral shade. And then I also got the um, Rouge Byzantine. That's this one right here, which I kind of like because it goes with the Byzantine eyeshadow collection. So let me just gently swatch this a little bit onto my arm. Isn't that beautiful? We're gonna try it on my lips in a moment. And then we're gonna look also at the other I purchased, which is the one I'm wearing right now on my lips, the number two shade. Um, this Byzantine shade is the 10th of 12, and this one is the second of 12, and it is kind of a coral shade. And as you see, I'm wearing that already on my lips. And I'm going to take that outside into the warm. California sunshine for you to have a look at. Let me put a little bit on more of this number two cruise shade or crozier shade. I'm probably butchering the pronunciation. I apologize. And this has been on for quite some time. So let me show you that's, that's what it's going to look like hours after wear and even eating a little. And now let me show you it when I just put it on fresh. Okay. So it saturates the lips. There it is worn oh, for about four or five hours, and here it is newly applied. So it's held up pretty good. Now, interestingly enough, this is not scented as such, but because there is gardenia oil in it, you can kind of smell it a little bit. Not in terms of a highly fragranced or perfumey product, but in terms of, it just smells like luxury. I know you're out there going, it darn well should, it's $200. I, yeah, I know, I know, I know. but. You do, there's one thing to buy luxury and feel that you've bought luxury, and there's another to buy luxury and feel like you were taken advantage of. And the good thing about this, if you're purchasing this as a pre-holiday gift, there is no part of me that feels taken advantage of. I am completely and entirely aware that many of you out there are going to say to me, Rebecca, you couldn't pay me enough money to pay. I understand that. I do. I do. I do. But for those of you that are going to purchase it, you will feel that you purchased a lovely bit of luxury. And for a lot of us, me included, I can't afford a Chanel handbag. So to have this little cute Chanel product in my bag, in my non-Chanel handbag to take out and use, feels really good. And it feels like for a price that I can stomach, I was able to buy that luxury, if that makes sense. So I would like to refrain from attacking people uh, who want to purchase the luxury, uh, although some of you will choose not to. Okay, what I want to do now, um, I want to take these two shades right here outside into the warm California sunshine so that you can see them. On the left of my hand arm, I have, again, the 10 Byzantine shade, which is that beautiful, cool red. And then to the right of it, out of order, I suppose, is the number two cruise kind of, um, that's that kind of, um, melon or coral shade outside in the sunshine. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go take this number two shade off and let's try on this really beautiful, deep, sexy red and see what we think. Stay right there. Okay, I'm now wearing that deeper, sexier kind of red shade as a stain. That is my favorite way. I was telling Nazi in the Chanel store earlier that is my favorite way to wear a deep, sultry Chanel red is as a stain. And I think it looks beautiful 
beautiful that way. I'm going to apply some more for you, but this is going to stay. I've put it on, I've tapped it in, and I have used, you guys know by now, right, my method. I have used a dense eyeshadow pencil brush to just kind of really just work it into the lips as a stain. I could put a gloss over it. I could leave it kind of semi-matte like this. I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like freshly applied, but this is, I just wanted to show you, this is my favorite way to wear it. So let's uh, roll up the little crystal case it's in, and let me just show you me applying it fresh as a lipstick rather than just as a stain. There's the difference. So here is the stain, and here is it worn fully applied. So you can just see the difference there. Let me finish it up. The other reason I like, I, I gotta learn not to talk and apply lipstick at the same time, but the other reason I like to do a stain application first, even if I'm gonna wear it this way, the stain covers everything, and then you can be a little bit more haphazard when you apply the actual lipstick. Just an application tip. Do with it what you will. You can use a, a lip pencil too. Or not, I don't. And this way it's just kind of ready to go. And that is a much darker, deeper application. I love the deep, dark, almost like vampire-y. Oh, it's almost Halloween, so we're getting that in there. Reds that Chanel does. Um, even though the look that I have on now is kind of coppery and might might not be a compliment to this red shade, I still love it. I just think anyone looks kind of good with this deep dark lipstick as long as you can get used to yourself wearing that dark of a shade. I like dark better than bright even. Okay, so we obviously have a lot to talk about. Now, this is a really kind channel. Some people will be all over this and buy many shades. Some people will wish they could buy it and wish us all luck, and some people will not be able to buy it. But I, I, I just don't want any names thrown or anything like that. I just want everybody to enjoy makeup together. Whether this is in your price range or out of your price range, we definitely want to know what you think of the lipstick. And all opinions are welcome. I'm just saying kindness, please, because we have a lot of people who are excited about the launch. And I, I don't want to, you know, I don't want to ruin that for them. But if you're just categorically against it, we need to hear that too. I mean, that's what makes us a community. So uh, make sure you say that below. I will include the lovely Nazi at my Chanel boutique. It's mine, it's all mine. Uh, phone number, so you, if you're looking to track these down or any other Chanel product, she is definitely your woman. She knows what she's talking about. Again, no monetary gain, I just think she is dynamite. So I've included that as well below. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. I sure hope that you did. If you haven't already done so, do make sure that you subscribe to this channel so we can continue to grow. And don't forget to come and say a big hello over on Instagram, TikTok, and on threads. You can become a bigger part of this YouTube community by actually joining and becoming a channel member. There's a link in the description bar. We'd have behind the scenes stuff and really fun weekly gossipy lives, which we'd love to have you be a part of. Or you can just shop from the links below. That always helps or give super thanks. Hey, really, in any way that you choose to be here, just know that I am thrilled to have you and I look forward to seeing you all in the next video. Bye-bye.